Now, welcome to the Alpine Mountains, and today we're going to enter with a bit of a guessing game again. What is this right in front of us? Let me just say it's an airport. Yes, it's an airport. Welcome to Lacher Airport. Yep, it's in the Italian Alpine Mountains, and uh, well, it's got nine reviews on Google. I have already landed there with an Airbus A340, and I will soon land an Airbus A380. Are you sure about that? Yeah, let's do that exactly today, actually. So this is a very interesting airport. It's got a grass runway, so it's more of an airstrip really the thing is on this channel we normally don't even check out airfields right we mostly have paved asphalt runways but this one definitely is quite a different story isn't it i mean look at it and well what can you say it's definitely worth checking this place out here again in the microsoft flight simulator um it looks very nice here we've got uh, a very good, nice scenery installed we can actually see some other planes here and some people we can see this mechanic maybe a pilot we can see a doggo, and this is actually the hangar of this airport. It's like built into the ground. It's interesting, isn't it? And, uh, well, this is another plane. Actually, this is another TBM. You can find a lot of turboprop planes here, like the TBM or the PC-12, which is more likely to be found here. But let's just go ahead and try to actually, first of all, taxi to that runway and not crash in that hangar door. Holy moly, that was close. Yeah, I would just want to see how flight operation really works here, right? Oh, just not crash. Okay, we did not hit the wall. Okay, great. Okay, now the taxi operations of this airport are probably very interesting. I, I think we're gonna go up here. This little taxi, it's not really a taxi way, really. <laughs> yeah, this is such an interesting airport. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this plane is really the biggest plane to fly here next to the PC-12 again. Okay, now it's time for some mountain hill climbing, right? Oh, no, tree. Well, it's the flight simulator. Who really cares, honestly? And here we are greeted by a super decathlon aircraft. Isn't that a decathlon? It doesn't really matter. Let's just go ahead and take off, see if that's going to work. Okay, something I'm going to do now is actually take off up the mountain, up the hill. All right, flaps are already out. Engine's at full power. See, with these little uh, grass strips, I'm not ever quite sure when the runway starts and when it ends. So we kind of can expend this a little bit. And we have taken off, actually. We've got some cows down here. Oh, this has not worked. Yeah, our TBM hasn't really taken off that well, has it? Of course, we're supposed to take off downhill, not uphill. All right, but what is even more interesting, I think, than the takeoff? Oh, it's the landing. We just almost landed in a mountain. Holy moly. And especially when you're doing it in a way too big of a plane. How about the CJ4 from Cessna? This plane doesn't even have um, reverse thrust, which is definitely going to be a problem. But let's just see how this is going to work. Now, actually, here with this approach, you're going to have to be careful because there's some cables here. <laughs> Ironically enough, crossing the whole, um, you know, this whole valley. As you can see, look, look, there are cables. Let's not crash into them, I guess. You know, that would be a little weird. Actually, oh. Okay, that's been very close. But we've got... Oh, there's some more cables. Oh, there's two cables. Who who built this airport here? Who made the, who made the cables here? Okay, <clears throat> whatever. Let's come in for our landing here. We should probably switch to uh, cockpit view. Whoa. All right, that's been a bit of a hard touch. I'm sorry. All right, moving on. This has been a perfectly executed landing here in the CJ4 from Citation. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, of course. I mean, naturally, the next step would be the Cessna Citation Longitude here. Let's maybe try to make this properly, though, this landing. <laughs> right, okay. The flaps are out. Let's get the landing gear down, too. Let's go ahead and get this plane a little slowed down and not crash into the cables, which, that's, yeah, we've crashed into the cables. Luckily, there's no damage model for that. Let's come in for a touchdown. Somewhat. Okay. That's been a bit of a smoother one, right? Let's go ahead and stop, which is actually not very much possible. Now, I've already said this. We can, you know, expend a, a runway like this to our liking because there's no, like, designated start or stop because it's a grass runway, right? So, uh, we can stop anytime you want. And by the way, we have stopped. I've just forgot to notice that. We've stopped our plane here. Okay, successful Cessna Citation Longitude landing, I guess. This has actually worked fairly well, hasn't it? Great. And then we can roll back down the mountain. I mean, you do have to say this is quite a slow doped runway too, which is probably not in favor for landing gears and, you know, because of the hard landings, but probably in favor for the whole plane because, you know, they don't overrun that much because, I mean, this runway is very short, okay? But we did stop for it quite nicely. So let's try an airliner. Of course, we've got the CRJ. Yeah, CRJ. How about the CRJ? Okay, okay. Now, moving on from a, a 6 to 7, 8, 10 seater Cessna Citation Longitude to a 50 seater CRJ 550. This is going to be an interesting one, too. Right? So how are we going to do this now? Um, we're going to have to push back a little bit to, you know, just get the most of this surface that we do have for taking off. Right? 
So I've put the reverse thrust to maximum. Hopefully that'll be enough to get our... Uh oh, this is not enough to push back, is it? No, this is not enough. <laughs> oh, oh. All right, rest in peace. All right. <clears throat> now with a little bit of cheats here, uh, let's go ahead and take off. Just full power already here. Oh, no, this is not going to work, is it? All right, CRJ 550. Let's use all of this slope that we have here. Come on, take off. Looking good. Okay, configuration of the flaps. Let's get the flaps out. Let's put the flaps to a full maximum. Now, this uh, surface here is quite smooth. We do have to say that. Quite a smooth grass field here. But uh, it's not enough, is it? It's not enough, is it? Oh, actually, wait. You guys, that was a takeoff. Let's not hit any of the power lines again. That's been great. I mean, maybe we can just turn around and come in for our landing. See how that's gonna work. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, put the landing gear back down and use the cheat here now to get back onto that runway. Holy moly. Okay, a bit of an unstabilized approach, but this is gonna go very well. With the reverse thrust out, this is gonna be a bit of a hard landing here, won't it? Okay, bit too hard. Let's maybe try doing this properly. I mean, honestly, landing smoothly on a sloped runway like this in the middle of a valley in the Alpine Mountains is pretty impossible and pretty hard to do. Again, this is a very sloped runway as well, which always counts for hard landings. But let's maybe try again, maybe making this somewhat smoothly. Come on. Oh. Let's do this uh, a third time now. All right, <clears throat> landing gear coming down. Let's see how this is gonna go. Uh, try number 15 or something. Actually, this isn't gonna go very well either, is it? Okay, okay, great. Okay, that's been a landing, that's been a landing. Finally a good one. Okay, reverse thrust, reverse thrust, reverse thrust, reverse thrust. Try number 20,000 and we're finally somewhat looking good. Hmm, maybe it only does take a little bit of practice and a little bit of airplanes and a few th thousand lives that will be sacrificed to learn how to make a smooth landing here. CRJ approved. Takeoff and landing worked after like 20,000 tries, but that's another story. Yeah, I can really tell Locher Airfield here in the Italian Alpine Mountains is not that good of a place for big planes. Maybe the, again, the biggest plane to fly here probably is some sort of turbo prop plane at like the PC-12 with this TBM. Nothing really bigger should be allowed here. I mean, it, there's a point. So let's do one last landing, but a proper landing here in this TBM 930. <clears throat> landing gear is already down. Let's go ahead and get this turbo prop aircraft land. Uh oh. Landed. Hmm. <clears throat> Looking good. We're coming in for a landing. Let's see how this is going to go. All right. That's been a touchdown. Let's go ahead and stop, which should not be a problem. I mean, again, small planes. Totally fine. Big planes, no, don't, don't do it. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. My members here on YouTube like Block, Mubarak, Junk in the Trunk, Rafal, Oh Man the Human, DJ Straw, Dulo, Tyler Park, Ian from Osk, Gurkham, uh, Stefan Smithofer, Moritz Wilhausen, Tuppy Cook, uh, Great Crime but John, No to You, Larry Deslama, Government Pasta, Calamity Airlines, Kelly Chaos, Philip Terrier, uh, uh, Signs, uh, Mass Collegue, Rodolfo, New York, Oli H, Bliviation, Cheese Doritos, Shadow.